Hey guys, Buddhist Gamer, and I'm back with another COD Mobile video, and today we have quite a bit to talk about this game, as uh, my good friend Crosby, or as he's known as Kryptonite, provided me with a lot of gameplay in regards to basically just everything about the game. So, all the Battle Pass rewards in the preseason, all, like, kind of the custom class perks, the weapons, the attachments, um, the leveling system, um... Just the, the settings itself, like sensitivity or the firing modes, um, clans, making clans, uh, leaderboards, just basically everything that's in sort of the menus of this game without any gameplay, you know, is in this video. So I'll leave timestamps to everything if you guys want to see if you do not have the game because this is currently in closed beta in India right now. So I'll leave a, a timestamp in the description as well, is in the comment section. So for the mobile users who are watching this, you guys, because you guys can just press the timestamp and be taken to where you want to go. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to see here is the battle pass rewards. This, I'm going to be honest, is pretty nice. There are some issues, um, but within this battle pass, this is a preseason battle pass, sort of kind of like a test run for them. So I'm not sure what's going to be happening to these rewards when this game fully comes out globally. Um, but preseason one starts this month and then ends in July. So I think what's going to happen is during E3 they're going to announce the game's full release date uh, globally, which will which will be next month in June. Um, the preseason will still go on, so that way all these new players can kind of just see what's going on, get ready, and then starting July is when real like season one is going to start, probably with maybe some of the same rewards, maybe better rewards. Anyways, so. With this preseason, what is included? So, we got weapon skins, quite a few of them, uh, and by weapon skins, I mean weapon skins, like gun skins, knife skins, grenade skins for whatever reason, but yeah, there are grenade skins for your frag grenade or flash grenade or whatever, um, which look pretty interesting. Um, now, this is similar to other uh, games right now on mobile or games in general, so there's basically a free battle pass, which is just you playing the game and then you getting um, these rewards just for free you get you can even get like a couple you get a knife skin you get cod credits so there's two different currencies cod credits which are able to buy things in the store um, like camos and stuff and then there's cod points so we'll talk about that later on but so basically with the free pass you're able to get cod credits every now and then per certain levels of the tier system and then there's a premium one which has way more rewards, which will, you know, cost money, of course, just like Fortnite. If anything, it's kind of the best thing I can compare it to. But Fortnite, you buy the premium pass. Um, you can either start right from the start or you can, like, purchase a little bit more and you'll get the premium pass plus, like, the first 25 tiers. So with that, you get a lot more things um, and you also get COD points in this, which is very nice. So I like this. Because it gives back to you, like, actual currency in the game. T two different currencies, actually, if you think about it, which is very nice. Um, among that, there's also emotes, which is kind of a given. Uh, there's going to be sprays, so things you can just spray on the floor or the wall. Whatever those are. There's In battle passes or sort of loot box systems, there's always going to be that one thing that not many people or if any are going to like it, but they have to fill the boxes with something, you know? Anyways, so there's that, and then there are XP cards, with the, which are different rarities. So basically, XP cards you can use, like, if... I'm not sure, I, I have to look at it again, but... The green XP card could be, like, the least amount, which means, like, I can put that XP card on my AK-47. And what that means is it'll give it some extra XP, and then you level up your weapon, just like you level up your character yourself, and that's how you get attachments for the gun. So basically, it levels up the gun faster, essentially. Um, so, so far the battle pass looks great, you know, nothing to worry about, you know, everything looks cosmetic, of course, and then you get two things, like, there is a shotgun in this battle pass among other weapons, and this shotgun is a variant of the HS2126, uh, and this variant is called Deck of Spades, so it's got a cosmetic look to it, but it has a little perk to it. The, so basically, weapon kills increase movement speed by 10% for 2 seconds. Now, I know that's not much, but it's still something. So, if you think about it, 
in a way, this is slightly pay to win, slightly, because there is also a method where there's about 100 tiers in this pass for rewards. Um, there's actually like 400, 300 tiers, but after 100, it's just like COD points, all right? So the last one, you'll get an AK, all right? And so basically, I can pay my real money to get COD points, and with COD points, I can buy tiers. I can literally get from 1 to 100 without playing a minute of the game. Think about that. So I can get this deck of spades gun before anyone else just from playing it. So essentially, I'll have increased movement speed by 10% by from getting kills for two seconds. So again, a little pay to win, but a lot of people are saying it's not too much of a big deal. Some people are saying like, it's such a minuscule thing, like why does it, like it shouldn't matter. In the, in the long run, we'll see how this turns out, but in a way, a, this is pay to win. In a way, kind of. In my opinion, I'd rather it didn't, I'd rather it just be cosmetics, but I don't know. We'll have to see. It does also have a 5% player XP increase, which is nice, which is, you know, not going to do anything much. It's just going to give you more XP, which is great. You know, that's fantastic. You want that. Um, but yeah, and then there is, um, like throughout later on in tier 60, you'll see the ASM 10 racing stripe. So this is a variant of the ASM 10 and what it is is increased movement speed for three seconds upon respawning. So when you respawn, you already have invincibility. So basically you have increased movement speed for three seconds. So again, is that going to do anything? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Will it? It maybe be good for a hard point. Like if you need to get a hard point, you know, you have a little bit faster movement. So it, it's again, there's such small things. It's really hard to say. But in a, in a game like Call of Duty where things happen very very fast, you know, hard to say. But anyways, there's that. Uh, now throughout this video, uh, during this closed beta, uh, if you guys don't know already, the devs have announced that once this closed beta is just closed. Everyone who has played this beta stats will be reset So you don't need to worry about everyone having weapons beforehand and all this other stuff So they even gave those players uh, COD points so they're able to buy the premium battle pass to just see how it is They'll get feedback from everyone So you'll see throughout the video that my bud Crosby gets the premium battle pass It has a cool animation showing what he's got he got the special battle pass where it's the premium, but you also get the first like 25 tiers. So he gets like a weapon variant. He gets um, all. He gets a knife skin, which looks very nice. A grenade skin. Um, just all the things that are in the first 25 tiers. And he also gets some cod points back, which is very nice. So very very interesting so far. And then he goes on to show all the settings now. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I play a brand new game, my favorite thing to do is not actually playing the game. My first, my favorite thing to do right off the bat is go to settings because a game with very specific and just a lot of specific tweaks to settings to everything. Like if it basically, if it's a long like list of settings, I love it because you can change a lot of stuff that basically customize it to the way you like it. So I can move this button here, I can make it this big. I can um, make it so that there's two fire buttons. I can make it um, where sprinting sensitivity is a little bit higher. So like I don't need to move as high to sprint to initiate sprinting. So all that stuff like, you know, the graphics quality, all that, it helps so much um, customize, customizably wise. So I really like it. So you're gonna see throughout here, just all the settings, very very nice now there is auto fire i see in this game but my friend uh crosby did tell me that once he started the game it showed you there was auto fire but it told you that you had to do manual fire um to like get into the game and, and i think he said he couldn't switch it back to auto fire if i remember correctly uh and then even in the settings it says auto fire but in parentheses zombies only so i'm hoping they're gonna keep that that it's only for zombies only um we're gonna see how that works. I mean, they, they they even added special firing modes, which I talked about in a previous video, where if you press the fire button, it automatically puts you in the sight. So you don't need to essentially have two different separate buttons, a fire button and an aim down sight button. You can just hold the fire button and it'll automatically like zoom you in. So that helps some people out, which is very nice. Um, so among that, 
I mean, things you can expect. Uh, these guys are very, very detailed, like sensitivity for different scopes, different weapons. You can change sensitivity like for snipers compared to assault rifles. So a lot of different things, very, very nice. And then you'll see the customizable HUD here. You can move essentially everything. You can move the map, you can move the scoreboard, you can move all these different things, which is very, very nice. Um, and he does it here very extensively, kind of showing you that you can do that. Um, the graphic quality, he has a very good device where he plays full on maxed out. Um, you can change the graphic style, vivid, dynamic, standard, just all the stuff that's becoming sort of a norm for mobile gaming, which is, thank God, like a standard thing. You're able to put it the way you like. You can make it more vivid, more dynamic, uh, custom. You can change the volume for master UI, S SFX, music, teammate. Uh, teammate voice microphone you can change all this stuff you can change turn sensitivity ADS sniper rifle sensitivity vehicle sensitivity for battle royale there's battle royale has its own specific settings like basically just whatever you want it's in this game essentially so that's very very nice to have and then you'll see later on you'll see a loadout for battle royale which is going to come out very soon if not already by the release of this video um, but yeah, guys, so basically just enjoy the video, enjoy any little tidbit you need to see. Um, I'll put timestamps again for all the visuals for what I'm talking about um, in the description as well as the comment section. So hope you guys enjoy. This uh, is a pretty long video, but I wanted to show you guys just everything what you can expect. Again, things are subject to change. This is a closed beta um, as it will start becoming open beta pretty soon, I'm guessing. And then global launch, things are going to be changing, weapons are going to be buffed, nerfed, maps might be changed a little bit. Um, you know, they'll take feedback from, from everyone who's playing the game, I hope. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest, and I will catch you guys in the next one.
Thank you. 